Hey everyone, welcome back to the second part of our SAP Fiori tutorial series. In part 1, we created our first UEFI application and displayed Hello World on the screen. If you missed that, check out the link in the description to catch up. In this video, we will enhance our application by adding a header and footer to our UEFI page. Let's dive right in. For creating a header, we are going to use TNT tool header. In UEFI, the SAP TNT tool header control from the SAP TNT library is used for creating a header with a tool style design, often seen in complex enterprise applications. The opening tag is done, now let's add the closing tag also. Since we have not added the closing tag, that's why it is showing this error. So let's add the closing tag also. TNT toolbar, tool header. So let's close this and still it is showing error for the opening tag. It's because we have not declared the ID for this. So let's generate a ID for this. Now the error is gone. Now our header part is re ready and we need to add something inside this header. So let's add a hamburger icon here, which is menu two. So we will type button icon equal to and this link SAP icon full colon slash slash and which is menu 2 so this will create a button with hamburger icon and which is of type transparent and let's close this and we are going to generate an ID here And now let's see the output. Actually this code doesn't show the output since we have not imported the TNT toolbar. But let's check this out. See as you can see that there is no header part in the output section. For adding this toolbar we need to import this first. For importing, we need to go to the view.xml and need to add a simple code in the MVC view part. And here we are going to import by typing XML NS equal to SAP. Yes, SAP TNT. So this will import the TNT toolbar and will show the output now. See here one toolbar is created, tool header is created and that is our header part. So let's add two more buttons. Uh, let's add a text after this and after that you will add one more button with text instead of icon. Let's type text is equal to login page here and save this and we'll go to the output screen now which will print a text here as login page but there will not be any space and which will be near to the hamburger icon. Now let's separate this login page and hamburger icon by adding space in between by using toolbar spacer. Here we will add one more tag as toolbar spacer which will create its space in between text and the button. But this will print the text on the right side and button on the left side. Since there is two icons only on the header it will print on left and right side if you add more it will divide the spaces accordingly and print the header accordingly so let's see the output after generating this okay now let's save this and go to the output screen 
see as i said it is printing on the left and right side only so let's add one more button with a text To create a button with text, let's remove this icon part and add an attribute text instead of this. Let's type text equal to and the text. Okay, now save this and run this again. Now you can see that the header section is divided into three parts. The hamburger icon, the title and the high admin side. Now that we have added our tool header, let's move on to the footer section. We are going to create a footer section by adding a tag footer and inside that we will add a, another tag bar. So let's go downside down of this page and create a footer here. Yeah, let's type footer. And inside that we are going to create a bar. And inside this we have content left and content right tags so this one and inside this you can write whatever you want to print in the footer section which will be displayed on the left side and on the right side you can use content right tag here we are going to add some text and let the text be something like copyright yeah copyright at Genoi. Now let's create a content right tag and inside this we are going to add another text. Let's print CS Psycho. White okay. text. It is showing error. Yeah, let's select this and let's type text as CSICO. So this will be printed on the right side. If you want to print contents in the middle, then you can use the content middle tag. And let's generate ID for everything. Now let's save this and go to our output page to see the footer section. And that's it. You have successfully added a tool header and a footer to your SAP Fiori application using the SAP.TNT library. This layout is common in many enterprise applications and gives your app a professional look. In the next video, we will explore more advanced UI5 controls and further enhance our app. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon for more tutorials. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the part 3.